Hey, what's up guys? All right, now we're gonna continue with Omnichannel and uh, we're gonna go through and create a really simple chat and we will build upon this chat uh, later, but we're gonna start off with a really simple chat with Omnichannel and we can see how this is gonna work, okay? So in our previous videos, we uh, basically installed an Omnichannel trial and we set up a Omnichannel user. Uh, we went through some of the Omnichannel apps that are available and now we're gonna go through and do an actual uh, chat to see what this actually looks like, okay? Um, we'll, we'll see what it looks like from a customer perspective and also from an agent perspective. So let's talk channels first. Uh, so we can see here down along the left, we have uh, channels and I'm in the Omnichannel administration app. And uh, when we look at each of these channels, you know, we see that there's so many various different capabilities that uh, this product supports, right? You know, Microsoft has done a lot of work in bringing in all of these various different channels so that uh, users can, or uh, customers really can communicate with an organization very easily. And on the flip side, organizations can allow so many various different uh, digital messaging strategies so that customers can reach them, right? Uh, so that's really what Omnichannel is all about. It's about allowing your customers to contact you uh, for whatever reason, you know, uh, whether they have questions or whether they have uh, some support issue. Um, you know, you want to be able to reach your customers and you want to be able uh, to communicate with them and you want them to be able to communicate with you. So these are all the different channels that uh, is supported so far in the product. Uh, we have um, we have the chat channel here. So basically, uh, this is the one that we're gonna gonna go through in this uh, in this particular video. We have SMS, we have Facebook, uh, we have Line, Twitter, WeChat, WhatsApp. Uh, we have custom channels. We have Microsoft Teams, right? And it's kind of interesting because you know there's a there's there's different ideas around how much uh, or how customers communicate with you in each of these channels and how many uh, of these types of chats an agent can take at one time, right? And that's gonna be a little bit unique to your org and it's also gonna be a little bit of an industry standard type of a thing, right? So um, with chats, for example, uh, you, can, you may have a simple chat widget that sits on your website. So this is probably the most you know, one of the most basic omni-channel examples out there. The, the chat widget sits on your website, a customer goes to your website and they say, I wanna contact this company and the widget pops up and says, hi, how can I help you? And then the customer starts a conversation, right? Um, there's, you know, based on, based on the amount of traffic that, that you, you get or the complexity of the types of chats that uh, customers are engaging in, you may decide that there's, uh, let's say, three chats that each agent can handle at a time. Maybe there's five chats from you know five different customers that each agent can handle, or there might be uh, you know a bigger number. It might be one at a time, right? You know, maybe your agents can only really focus on one chat at a time when they're when they're talking with people. It, it all depends on 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 so many different factors, right? Um, SMS is like a little bit different because you know if they send a text message then or or a facebook message similar kind of thing they might not expect and they meaning the customers they might not expect a reply as quickly as if you're uh you know on a chat on your website right so a website chat is more of a real-time engagement um a facebook message if they send you a facebook message maybe you can get back to them the next day um you know so that's one of those things where expectations are a little bit different but, um, and, and that's how you can kind of manage how you want to do this, um, you know, through setup, right? So, so that's, um, these, are the, these are the different channels and we can see here we already have a, a chat widget set up here in this environment. Uh, this one comes with the, with the demo. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to just, just do a fresh one and we'll kind of take a look at what it looks like, okay? So to create a new chat widget, go up here and click new and we get this screen here. And so what we wanna do is we wanna 
let's let's take a look at the kind of the the layout of the screen, right? So we have the general settings of the chat, and we're going to provide a name of the chat here. We have the language of the chat. Uh, we have the uh, agent display name. We have some authentication settings, right? So let's let's uh, give this a chat. Uh, give this chat a name first. We're just going to call this, uh, let's say, website chat, right? So that's just the name of the chat and the agent display name. We have various different uh, options here. We can use the first or last name of the agent, the actual full name of the agent, or the nickname of the agent, right? I think first name's kind of a nice one to go with. Um, you know, the the customer doesn't need, necessarily need to see the full name of the agent. Uh, I think nice names, first name's nice and personal, right? Um, and then the authentication settings. So we're gonna do a demo at some point where we uh, interact with a, where we put this actually onto a Power Apps portal and that's gonna uh, actually use um, Active Directory authentication to uh, for customers to authenticate with, but we're not gonna do that now. This, this example is super simple. It's just gonna be chat on a website and there's no authentication the customer does not need to uh, authenticate. It's just anonymous, right? Anyone can can interact with with us with this chat widget. So next thing is um, select the mode of the chat here. We're going to go with a, a live chat. Um, this is another setting we'll talk about another time. The work stream is uh, is again something that we're going to explore in more detail. We'll come back to that. Um, proactive chat. It's another one. We'll keep that at no. And then some, we have some, you know, basic uh, setup here. File attachments. Do we want to uh, enable file attachments for customers? And we'll just keep that at no. Enable file attachment for the agents. Okay, so we'll keep that at no as well. Um, the downloading of the chats or the emailing of the transcripts uh, of the chats. We're just going to keep that at the default. And this one's kind of useful here. It's the showing off the position of the customer, whether, um, so it says show position in the queue. So if the customer goes to the website and there's 10 customers ahead of him um, that are not actually chatting with agents, <clears throat> then we'll get the number 10 there. And with the, with the average wait time, that's actually something very similar where it'll actually show the wait time uh, based on various factors uh, to the to the uh, customer, right? And with the wait time one, there needs to be a certain amount of chats that have already occurred so that the calculations can be done uh, in the back end so that um, D365 knows what number to display there, right? So you need a certain volume of chats before you can actually take advantage of that feature. So those are the settings there. So we're just going to click Save here. And we'll just, you know, kind of talk through really quickly some of these other tabs, but we're going to go into more detail um, regarding each of these in future videos. So we got automated messages, uh, basically the, you know, you can set up, uh, let's say the, the operating hours. So you may not have agents available uh, 24 seven. They may be available from nine to five on weekdays. So you can set up schedules and then um, if it's outside of the operating hours, uh, or outside of, uh, you know, if they're on, uh, if the business is on holidays, like public holidays, for example, you can, uh, display messages to the customers so they can see, you know, hi, thanks for coming to our chat page, but, uh, we are unavailable to answer chats today because it's outside of our operating hours, right? So, and so you can customize, uh, messages that display there, um, we have surveys here, so this is a really cool feature that shows uh, pre-conversation surveys to the customers and also post-conversation surveys. So once the so before you start chatting, you can um, you can prompt to to gather information about certain uh, attributes from your customers, and then once the conversation is finished with the agent, you could do a poll, uh, and it will. Um, prompt the user to to you know fill out the, the the poll so so you know very nice i these two these two get used uh quite a bit i find
Next up is conversation options. We talk about here about uh, video and voice calls, visual engagements, co-browsing, screen sharing and stuff. Um, then we have the design of the chat widget. So the design of the chat widget is um, basically the, the appearance of the widget. And we can see here it defaults to blue. So that's the color of the widget, right? Um, lots of other colors here at default that, that we can uh, set. So uh, if you want to use green instead, you could do that, for example, very simple. Uh, the logo here. So you may want to put a corporate logo in, in place of this, um, but that's a standard chat icon logo that it defaults to. Then we got the title of the of the chat. Um, we got the subtitle. Uh, the position is going to be in the bottom right. And here's the operating hours that I was talking about uh, earlier. So you can uh, link to operating hours that you have set up here. And then a couple of other features here is the uh, turning on sound notifications. So basically, you know, you'll hear that that little sound that uh, you know when you get a message coming through. Uh, so that one's that one's pretty useful, and then the uh, unread messages indicator. So we'll 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 see what happens with uh, this one. Um, but this one's this one's really useful. I like this one, so I'm going to turn this one on. So we'll see this come into play. And then the location here. Um, so we have uh, widget location and we have visitor location. So just going to keep that at default for now. Go with the the most simple basic uh, chat experience okay so let's go ahead and save this and then we'll see how we're actually going to use this okay so we want to go to the general settings tab and we see here this is the important thing here right so so once you save this uh you'll get you'll get this little snippet of code here the the widget snippet right code snippet so you want to grab this and just copy it. And what we will do, we're going to put this over here. Um, I like to paste this into Visual Studio Code and let's take a look at it. So we have, um, it's a, basically a script here. We have the ID is uh, Microsoft Army Channel Widget. And then we have the source here. Uh, so you can see here it's uh, communicating with Azure Edge.net. And uh, we have uh, a GUID here. Uh, we have a, a data org ID here. And we have uh, this other uh, URL here, right? So with all of those pieces of information, we are able to uh, basically embed this into a page and it's going to pull down uh, all the information from the Omnichannel administration regarding this chat and it'll be able to communicate with uh, omnichannel agents in the omnichannel app. So it's really cool. All you know, the, all all you need to do is embed this, and it takes care of the rest, right? So let's go ahead and save this. And I am going to change this to HTML, and let's just call this website chat.html. Okay, that's uh, been saved. Now let's browse out to Windows. And this is the uh, this is the chat here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this into our uh, web page over here. Okay, so dragging this in and Let's just maximize that. So you could see here in the bottom right, we have um, we have the chat that's come up here, right? Sometimes, uh, you know, just FYI, it may not appear straight away like this. You may actually um, need to wait a few minutes. You know, the the one of the key things here, and let me just pop back over here to the uh, to the app over here. You know, the, take note of this here. This says omnichannel configuration changes take up to 15 minutes to reflect, right? So this is something that's really important because when you make a change in this app, um, you know, sometimes the change doesn't <laughs> doesn't go through very quickly. It takes 15 minutes and you 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 start to troubleshoot why the uh, change hasn't happened, right? 
Um, and one of the things that I like to do, if you go to the design here, right? Um, you know, so if you're just kind of playing around with this or, um, you know, whatever, but you, if you like, let's say I make a change and I make this green, right? If I click save here and then I go back to the uh, website chat here and refresh this, right? You're going to see that it's still blue, okay? And if I keep refreshing this, it's still going to be blue. And, but, you know, within 15 minutes, this changes, this will change to green. And so that's kind of one of the things that I do to just, just make sure that the change has gone through. Um, if I'm, you know, so if I, if I made some more dramatic change, I might just go in here and change the color as well. So that time, at that point, I know that like both my changes have come through and, um, I'm not running around in circles trying to troubleshoot <laughs> problems, right? So anyway, but that's, um, but, it, but uh, this is what the chat widget looks like. And um, the next thing we want to do is actually uh, sign in as an agent. And then we'll start this chat and we'll see both of those things come together. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.